I'm just gonna live in this for the whole of summer. Urban Outfitters always pull it out of the bag. And I think I could live and die in these joggers. I've seen these everywhere and I am absolutely obsessed. That's the thing, I love Urban Outfitters clothes, but some of it, it's a bit too out there for me and this is definitely one of them. because we have another haul. We all know my online shopping addiction has been continuing during lockdown and today we have a brand that I actually haven't tried in a very long time and that is Urban Outfitters. Now I'm so excited because I've got these all out and the quality of these clothes I know it is slightly on the pricier side, but for me, it's always worth paying a little bit extra to know you are getting good quality stuff that will last. And I really wanted some new summery outfits to be wearing now we're allowed out of lockdown. And I honestly cannot wait to show you. And if you are new, then hi, I am Anna. And my channel has a little bit of something for everyone from fashion, medicine, academia, and it would mean the world if you decided to stick around and subscribe. And if you're not new, then welcome back. I hope you are doing amazing. So now lockdown is easing, I really wanted to get some outfits to be wearing out and about to pubs and restaurants, but still we are spending quite a lot of time in our home. So there are a couple of lounge wear pieces, as well as some accessories, and make sure you watch till the end of the video for two of my favorite essential summer dresses. Anyway, I think it's about time we got on with the haul. So the first thing that I picked up is just this a cute little mint green tie up top. I've been seeing this style everywhere and I loved the color and the style so I'm really excited to see what it looks like on. I got this in a small because I was a little bit worried about it being too tight across the front and as always I'll put all of the links to the sizes, prices in the description box below. This is just what this looks like on and I do really love the colour and the style of it however I think I regret sizing up because it is a little bit long but then I have the same issue that it's very tight across the front. I think in a smaller size I would have loved this top because I think the style of it is really pretty with the neckline and the tying. However the quality of it feels amazing. I really love this detailing across the neck and the sleeves. Really soft material. It's not see through at all so I would really recommend this top. However unlike some different brands which I've tried you don't need to size up in this this type of effect because it is too long. However, I definitely have to be ordering this in some different colors and also sticking it to my normal size. So the next piece that I got is this tie front green. I mean, we're sticking with a the theme, aren't we? I love green with brunette hair, but I also think it looks really nice with blonde or whatever color hair you've got. And I love this tie perfect again. And the checkers I thought were really cute for the summer to wear with a little skirt or jeans. But this is just what this top looks like on. I really love the style of this top and the tie perfect. And the sleeves are so nice. They are puffy without being way too puffy. And I really like the color. However, on me, I'm not 100% sure what I think about the checks. I think they look, I don't know. Maybe it's because I played with black jeans and they would look nice with a skirt or blue jeans. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I really love the sleeves. They go tighter here and then you fold the puff over the top. And I think it's such a cute design. And I love the tie up and the detail and it is such good quality. Again, you cannot fault the quality of this. I'm just not 100% sure what I think of checks. I don't know if they suit me or not. You'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think of this top and whether it's a keeper. Now, I absolutely love this next one and this is just this little cardigan jumper. Now, we are still spending a lot of time in our houses and I know it's not the most summery jumper in the world, but in England, it can get a little bit chilly and especially right now, the weather is questionable. However, we're not complaining because we are still going to be wearing cute little jumpers like this and I just love this to be able to lounge around the house in. Now, I absolutely love this jumper. The quality of it, the sleeves, the style, I just think it's so cute to wear around the house or even just with some jeans like this to pop out to the shops. I just love how it's baggy but slightly cropped and it is so comfortable. I absolutely love little jumpers like this and I actually don't own enough of them. I really, really love this jumper and the design of it and I can imagine me wearing this all of the time when I head off to uni in lectures. It's just so comfy and 
really it's basically a staple it is an essential so the next thing that i picked up again is basically an essential and these are just these little let's brand joggers and i have been loving this brand recently and the tie-dye stuff however i haven't even got a pair of gray joggers and i really thought i needed some especially while we are still spending time in our houses and basically everyone needs a pair of gray joggers don't they and they're kind of this soft fleecy material inside so they feel so comfortable and i just hope they fit well i know i look like i'm in pajamas with this combination however these joggers are beyond i have no words for how comfortable these are this belt is just not too tight at all but it comes with dongles so you can even tie it tighter if you want personally i like a baggy joggers so they are comfortable and these are ridiculously comfortable i can't explain to you how soft this material is i absolutely love these joggers they go tighter at the bottoms which i love in joggers i hate it when they're just baggy all the way down i think i could live and die in these joggers I don't think you're going to catch me out of them. I love Let's Friends stuff. I have one jumper from there already. However, I really wanted a pair of joggers and I thought you can't go wrong with grey. Their tie-dye stuff is so cute. And if you like these, then I would go and check those out as well. But... I just can't i can't afford both we're getting one and gray goes with everything so i thought it was a lot better to get a basic than tie-dye which doesn't match as many things however after trying these on and feeling how comfortable they are we might be back on the website i can't do this to myself so the next piece i picked up was kind of loungewear but i'm not 100 sure what i would wear this for after seeing it i'm basically not sure what i think of it now it's this kind of knitted top and i've seen these everywhere with loungewear shorts and i think as a pair it would look really really nice and it does feel really soft i like the feel of it and it also has this little green stitching can you see that this little green stitching on the side which i thought was a very random color to throw in there and i'm not sure how i feel about it but we'll have to see what it looks like on okay so this top yeah no I, I i'm not convinced by it i do really like the material is it worth 29 pounds in my opinion not really I, i'm not 100 percent sure when i'm gonna wear this i don't overly like it with joggers and i really am not a fan of the illuminated green bit here i tried this on with a bralette underneath and it didn't really look right with that so i'm just not convinced how i would wear it the neckline's really cute i like how it hangs down here and some of you might love this. It's just not my style. That's the thing. I love Urban Outfitters clothes, but some of it, it's a bit too out there for me. And this is definitely one of them. First dress that I picked up before I get on to my favourite piece of the whole haul is just this little summery blue one. Now, I thought this would be really cute for those hotter days that we have paired with like a little jacket or even a beachwear top if we ever get to the seaside because I live in the Midlands, so I'm literally as far away from the sea as I can physically get. But I think this would be really cute for so many different occasions, just a chill top to wear to the park. Or you can even get away with wearing this around your house. I love just throwing on a little dress and then I feel put together, but it's still so comfortable. So I do absolutely love this dress. I love the pattern. I love the style of it. I love how baggy it is. However, there is a big but. As you can probably see, I've had to put cycling shorts underneath this because the material is ridiculously see-through. You could literally see everything. However, in my opinion, I think it looks really cute with the bicycle shorts underneath and I definitely think you could get away with this for the summer. So I have a bit of an issue because I absolutely love it, but I'm very annoyed how see-through it is because on its own, it would be such a lovely dress and I'm, it's, it feels like a shame you have to put the bicycle shorts underneath it. However, like I said, I love the neckline. I love the style i think the pattern is so cute i haven't seen anything like this i love the nude with the blue flowers it's very summery i just love it i'm just so sad it had to be see-through it really has really upset me the next item i picked up i'm so excited to show you and that is this little black bag i've seen these everywhere and i am absolutely obsessed with these short little crocodile shoulder bags and i thought this one was just so cute i love silver details over gold details just at the moment i'm a silver kind of person my watch is silver i just like silver details so this is perfect i thought the black looked lovely and it is such high quality this material doesn't look cheap at all i really 
really really love the crocodile effect material and I just think this is perfect for the summer really wearable with a little dress like this or any outfit at all I think it would look absolutely perfect it's the perfect size to fit in your phone and it doesn't look cheap at all it is so lovely I've been searching for these everywhere and Urban Outfitters have completely pulled out the bag with this one the next thing that I picked up in the accessories category was actually these little rings which I'm going to get out now I always feel bad when I pick up rings because I feel like they're such a luxury however I have been obsessed with seeing people wear loads of different rings on their fingers and I thought these ones were really cute Urban Outfitters have the best quality jewelry I hate when you buy cheap jewelry and it just looks nasty on whereas Urban Outfitters always pull it out the bag and they have some really really pretty designs now I adore stacking rings like this I thought these two were really cute and then this one on my thumb and then again I love this little one here now the only one in the set I'm not sure on the little one here with the dangly star I don't know I'm just not sure on it but you do get such good value for money getting one two three four five rings in a set and I just thought they were all really cute the last thing that I picked up I have been dying to try on for the entire haul and that is this little cute summery dress now this is gorgeous with the sleeves i absolutely love the pattern of it i love how it comes in here and then it comes out and i've been so excited to try this on so i really hope it doesn't disappoint now i am in love with this little summery dress i've seen this pattern everywhere and honestly it's so cute the sleeves are so nice i love the neckline i love how it comes in here and it comes out the pattern is absolutely gorgeous and here it is from the back I just feel like this is the perfect essential little summer dress for any occasion. Some sandals or you could even dress it up and wear it with some heels. This is the perfect dress and now things are starting to open to wear to pubs, restaurants, people's gardens. It's just such a perfect little summery dress that is dressy without being too dressy. And I just love Urban Outfitters. Sometimes they have a few pieces that are just they're just not my style i love them on people and people can look so trendy in them but i just can't get away with them but pieces like this i just love i'm just gonna live in this for the whole of summer basically so that is the end of today's haul that is everything that i got from urban outfitters and like i said i really am trying to buy pieces that i'm gonna wear again and again and again and not wear once or twice and then never wear again because it's just a waste of clothes and if you did enjoy today's video then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe subscribe and comment below any other hauls you would like to see because i love doing calls for you and showing you all the bits that i get and i will see you all so soon everybody have an amazing week bye